the Golden Feast Index has just been released. So we're going to jump in and see what kind of patterns we can find using Google Sheets and conditional formatting. So let's jump in. We have here three different Google Sheets. We've got um, the heat map, better than average, and GPI improvement, three different tabs. And up the top here, we can see that we've got the country and the year. And up the top, we can see uh, we have some hidden tabs here. Now these hidden tabs are just the country code here in column B, and then in column C, through to P, we've got the different years. So let's just hide those because we don't need them for the first part of this. We will come back to um, one, one extra column when we get to improvement later on. So let's color this and see what we can find. See if we can spot some patterns and see if we can rank the countries from most, most peaceful to the worst or the other way around. So we have here in Q2, this number here, 3.554. We're going to open up conditional formatting. And if you don't see that, you can click on format, conditional formatting, and that opens up this sidebar. Now it automatically turns the cell green because it's saying Q2 is not empty. What we want to do is create a heat map from the uh, least peaceful to the most peaceful. So if we go up to the top and click on color scale, we can see here that uh, we just need to change the range from Q2 down to Q. Now, when I click on done here, it's going to automatically select Q2 to Q164, and that's perfectly fine. We can change that later if we need to. Let's say that maybe another country is added and we need to expand our data. But for now, that range is just fine. And then we go down to the format rules. Now we can see here the min point is green and the max value is white. So let's change this to red. And that shows us the least peaceful countries are in red because a higher number is worse off and a lower number is better off in relation to peace. And we can see here that we've got Afghanistan in a deep red color and Austria in a deep green color. So you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. If we wanted to, we can sort these. So up the top, we can see these three dots here. Click on that and then find this filter. Now, if you don't see these three dots, yours, your page might look like uh, this, where you've got the full list of uh, items here. You can click on that create a filter and we can see these filter bars here. If we click on that and say A to Z, that now lists our countries from the most peaceful to the least peaceful. And we can see straight away, Iceland, New Zealand, and Ireland are the most peaceful with Iceland way more peaceful than second place. And we can see we have this nice gradient from green to red. Now, uh, you might want to uh, change the color scale so that we have three points. Maybe like instead of having just green and red, we want to know the midpoint. So if we change the midpoint here to number, we can see it automatically adds the number 1.99. And the reason it's 1.99 is because that is the median of column Q. I'm going to change that to a yellow color. So now we can scroll through this and get an idea of which countries are more peaceful and le less peaceful. If we go all the way down, um, we can see United States of America right down in the bottom 25%. So that's how you create an, a heat map in Google Sheets. It's seriously that easy. We've seen how to do it with two colors and three colors with the midpoint here being the median. So let's now take a look at the, down the bottom, we can see another tab. This is better than average. So uh, this time we're going to split the countries into two groups. So the upper 50% will be those that are more peaceful are the countries that are more peaceful than 50% of all of the countries in the list. And then uh, we'll do the same for the least uh, peaceful. So in Q2 here, uh, again, if you don't see the sidebar, click on format, conditional formatting. We'll apply this to Q2 all the way down to Q. And then the format rules, it's just sticking with the single color here. Format rules, if we click on this and go down to uh, less than, I'm going to write the number 1.99. And we can see here, all of these green values here are the are, are within the top 50% of peaceful countries. Now we can change that to a formula. So if we, for example, if we don't want to know 1.99, we want to use the actual median. In this case, it is 1.99. We could use the formula median of Q2 to Q. Now it's not exactly right to say Q2 to Q because if we scroll right down the bottom, we can see 
Uh, Uzbekistan is 2.001, and we know that 2.001 is higher than 1.99, so this should actually not be highlighted. And the reason it's done that is because of this section within the formula. We need to change these so that they are locked in place. So to lock Q2 to Q, we just put in these dollar signs. That locks them in place, and we can see Uzbekistan is now not highlighted. If we scroll down, we can click Add Another Rule, and we'll say uh, Format Rules if, or Format Cells if they are greater than the median. Now we will change that to red, so that we can see these countries here are in the uh, worse off 50% of countries within this list based on this data. But let's say we also want A2, the country, to be highlighted. All we need to do is change the format so, uh, format rules. We'll go right down the bottom to custom formula is. And then in the custom formula, we'll say Q2 is greater than the median. Now this isn't quite right because if we change the apply to range to A2 to Q164, it changes the colors all weird like. Uh, so this is just doing the countries and not the numbers. If we want both the numbers and the countries, we want to highlight the whole row. So we'll do a dollar sign on Q2 and that highlights the whole row, including these hidden rows here, which we don't really care about. So let's just hide those away. Let's just see that again. We'll click on done and then uh, click here for the green ones. Again, we'll change it from Q2 to A2. Whoops. If we click off that, nothing really happens. We'll change the format rules to custom formula is. That messes up everything. So in the custom formula, let's write Q2 is less than the median. And again, it's still messed up because we need to put that dollar sign on the Q that locks the column in place. So it's saying we care about column Q. This dollar sign is saying we're only going to look at column Q. Without it, it's actually saying Whoops, it's actually saying we're looking 17 columns ahead because the difference between column A and column Q is 17 columns. So let's put a dollar sign on that to lock it in. And now we get the full list of countries that are either in the bottom 50% or the top 50% of peaceful countries. We can see here Jamaica is exactly the median, so is uh, D -D 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 Dominican Republic is exactly the median, so they don't get colored. Again, if you want to split this into two groups by color, we could click on more, hit that filter button, and then hit this filter button and go A to Z to sort it between the bottom 50% and the top 50% with Dominican Republic and Jamaica right in the middle. Now, if this information has been helpful to you, please leave a like and leave a comment down below telling us which country you're from and which position you're in on this list. So let's jump straight back in and we have down the bottom the GPI improvement. Now, in this case, we actually have two columns, uh, two years. We've got 2021 and 2022. In this case, we are going to see if there's an improvement between these two years. Uh, so let's jump into Q2. We'll just uh, click on that one and click add another rule. Again, if you don't see that sidebar, click on Format. Whoops, wrong one. Click on Format. And then down the bottom, Conditional Formatting. Now it automatically goes green because it's not empty. Let's change that to Custom Formula Is. Equals Q2 is less than P2. And that's saying, is this number, 3.554, less than this number, 3.6? Again, we need to lock these correctly. So if we do uh, dollar signs on the Q and the P, this is going to say we want to stick with just column Q and just column P. If we had Q2 with dollar signs in on the twos, then that would mean we're only looking at these two cells and none of the other cells when we change the apply to range. So if we hit this apply to range and just for demonstration, we'll say Q2 all the way down to Q. All of these will be colored in because uh, they are all referencing these two here. Let's get rid of the dollar signs on the twos and we'll see how that changes the data set. We can see these ones here are no longer highlighted because these countries have gotten worse over the year. Australia here has reduced or uh, increased its number, so it's reduced in peacefulness 
throughout 2021 to 2022. Again, just like before, let's highlight the entire row. So all we need to do is go to the apply to range. We'll change Q2 to A2 and that would be good to go. So now we can just look at the country and then look at the data if we really want to. Back to the conditional format rules, scroll down, add another rule, change the um, less than to greater than, and then change the color to red. And there we go, we can see straight away which ones have gotten worse and better. Let's go jump down to Dominican Republic and we can see it's actually gotten worse, not much worse. You know, those two numbers are very similar. And then um, Ghana has not changed at all. And Jamaica, again, has gotten worse, similar to Dominican Republic, even though they are bang in the middle. <laughs> Let's go down to United States and we can see that, whereas United States of America, oh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, technically it's gotten worse, but 0.01 difference is not a huge difference. However, it is still in position, what was that, 129. So that's conditional formatting, three different ways. The main way here that I wanted to show is how do you uh, reference one column based on the numbers or data in another column. And the whole way to do it is with these dollar signs. So make sure you've got the dollar signs in the correct place with your custom formula. And if you need any help, leave a question down below. If this information has been helpful to you, leave a like. And if you want, leave a um, let us know what country you're from and if your perception of living in that country actually matches these numbers here or this data. So uh, that's all I've got for today and I will see you next time.